Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today I want to share with you this Graveyard Poison Control deck that's extremely popular right now. And I actually want to do a Grand Challenge today because it's been a very long time since I've covered a Grand Challenge deck in a video. So this is the deck we're using today, guys. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it in a first Grand Challenge. I was using it earlier on today, doing fairly well with it, getting at least consistently over 9 wins every single time uh, with this deck. Of course, uh... A lot of the times that I lost early were, were just simple mistakes, but this deck is so popular and I'm seeing it almost everywhere. Uh, a lot of people in my clan right now are using it, including the number one player in my clan who's at 5600 right now rocking this deck right here. And half of his cards aren't even max, and he's at 5600 rocking this deck. So I figured I'd show it to you guys in a grand challenge today because it's been... I can't even remember the last time I covered a grand challenge deck in a video. If you guys remember, let me know. But it does work on ladder as well, for sure. I just wanted to show you guys Grand Challenge today to mix it up. So we're gonna go naked graveyard, poison all of this jazz, kill the skeleton army, boom. Oh, come on, minion horde, please go in the poison spell. Well, the furnace will take out the minion horde for a decent extra value right there. Then we can go ahead and do a knight here for the mini P.E.K.K.A. And that should counter the mini P.E.K.K.A. pretty well there for another positive elixir exchange. And then we can go ahead and do a furnace here on the right hand side. Now, I want to talk about the deck for a brief moment here, guys. And I want to talk about the differences between ladder gameplay and tournament gameplay. Tournament gameplay, I would highly recommend using the log. If you guys don't have the log, I would suggest using arrows instead. I would not suggest using zap instead of the log in a challenge uh, situation because the zap will not kill Goblin Barrel. But on ladder, if you're using this on ladder, you could potentially use the zap instead of the log because chances are your zap will be high enough to kill Goblin Barrel on ladder. Most people's common cards are higher than epic cards are, so on ladder you can use Zap instead of Log. In challenges, I would suggest Arrows instead of Log. If you don't have the Electro Wizard, you can use a Musketeer instead, although I will say the Electro Wizard is one of the strongest cards in this game right now, so I would highly suggest using the E-Wizard if you have it. Now, I want to have the Poison available for my Graveyard Push because I know he's got the Minion Horde and the Skarmie, so Poison right there. Hopefully it'll kill a Minion Horde or something. He drops the E-Wizard, but the Poison should do work to both E-Wizards and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And then honestly, we can, might even be able to uh, just furnace these guys dead. Go ahead, scar me this. We'll see if the log... Actually, I forgot he just uses Mirror. We don't need to say the log, guys. I'm a, I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub today. No, we can't Graveyard yet, because he's got the... Uh, he's got the Minion Horde, so we're just going to poison it. We're just going to poison for chip damage. I don't want to use the Graveyard, because we don't have enough Elixir for the Poison spell there. And now we can go watch it for this. Boom! Electro Wizard finishing off the minion horde right there. Now we can go graveyard because now we have all he has is Skarmy. So we'll go pre-log right there. Oh, he knows we use it out of rotation, guys. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Look at those skeletons, guys. Look at those skeletons just doing work to the King Tower. We can go ahead and do a graveyard uh E Wizard right here in a second. Go boom. Uh boom. There we go. Thank you. No, shoot the tower, shoot the tower, you wizard. Thank you. Alrighty. So things took a turn for the worst there. <laughs> I went all in the right-hand side. I figured we could finish it off before time ran out, but he went Mirrored Goblin Barrel, guys. Mirrored Goblin Barrel does the work. The only good thing is, is Mirrored Goblin Barrel is a lot less strong when your King Tower is activated. So we have the upper hand here so far. So let's go. Graveyard, poison, skeletons to tank for a quick, quick seconds here. Quick couple of seconds. Like, nice! He drops an Infernal Tower and a Minion Horde there with the Archer doing some chip work as well. Let's go split Archers here. And then we can go ahead and do Knight Slow Push here. And then we can do another Graveyard uh, Electro Wizard drop. I don't think he has... I don't think he has the... Uh, Minion Horde back in rotation yet, guys. But the Skarmie doing a bit of work there. Tower should finish off the Mini Picket before it hits. Thank you. Not getting to the tower there. And we have another Graveyard in our hand ready to go. He just uses Minion Horde and his Skarmie. So we should be good to go for a Graveyard Night Push right here. Right here and right here. Boom. Tank. We've got this uh, log down here. Boom. There we go. And that should be GG right there, guys. Maybe not, but we'll see. Should be. Should be, hopefully. There we go, guys. GG to my friend up top there. Almost lost that battle because that one mistake earlier. I got a little bit too confident when there was a couple seconds left in the battle. I thought, hey, you know what? Go all in. 
but unfortunately he had enough time to do the mirrored barrels there but there we go guys the pure power of the grave red poison let's do a couple more here do a couple more now i'm not too sure who invented this deck but i'm seeing it everywhere in grand challenges on the leaderboard stuff like that it is definitely a popular deck for sure so bezel bob we'll go ahead and do i don't like the starting hand so we'll just do a slow night push here my starting hand preferences with this with this deck is furnace number one split archers number two or skeletons to cycle number three we didn't have any of those three in our starting hand there, so... Kind of unfortunate, for sure. Eh... Let's poison this Jazz. I think he's using the exact same deck as us, guys. I think he's using the exact same deck. So the poison will kill the Archer. We'll go ahead and do this and this. Keep the Electro Wizard outside of the, uh... And then we'll go Knight up here to tank these Fire Spirits. There we go. Yeah, so he's using the exact same deck. Like I said before, guys, it's a popular strategy right now. Very popular. So, get our furnace going on up here. I kind of want to wait for him to do this furnace first. We'll see if he does one here soon. Because furnace timing is important. You can actually make it so your furnace, when it spawns fire spirits, will actually kill his furnace. There's a specific timing. I don't know the exact timing of it, but you can do that. So, let's see here. Let's go archers right here. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Archers right here. And now, we're going to keep we're gonna keep our poison spell for his... Uh, Graveyard pushes instead. And I just lost my game sound for some reason. Do you guys hear game music? I don't. Let's go uh, Graveyard here. Naked Graveyard. Just to force something. I want to change my cycle a bit. Change my cycle a bit and see what he does. Because I don't like the card rotation that we're on ever since the opening hand there. But the Graveyard taking out the Knight for a negative 2 Elixir trade. But also getting damage done to the tower. So even naked. Even naked. It's doing work right there guys. So let's go ahead and get a Knight back here to tank these Fire Spirits. And we do have our poison in hand, ready to go for his grave. So poison right here. Boom, E was right there. And overlapping poison spell. Imagine if poison spell cancel each other out if they overlap. That would be weird, but kind of cool too. So let's see here. E are doing work right there. I want to do another kind of a naked graveyard right here with some skeletons. It worked last time, so we'll try it again this time. What does he do? Does he poison it? Electro Wizard this time. Let's go Knight here for the archers. Getting some damage done and also... Finishing off the E-Wizard there pretty soon. Let's go Archer's here for his Knight. And we're going to E-Wizard. We're going to do another Graveyard here soon, guys. Right now. We'll have our Poison Spell ready for his Graveyard right here in a second. Poison go down. There we go. Does he poison mine? No, he doesn't. But we've got an E-Wizard in there doing work to his tower. Poison finishing off his, uh, his Graveyard, rather. Boom. There we go. Nice. Nice, guys. Nice. Now, I'm going to tr try and do something different here. I need my graveyard here ASAP. So we're going to cycle some cards. Get my poison spell right here. Finish off his knight, please. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to play it very safe here from the rest of this battle here, guys. You know, let's just screw the safe part. Let's go aggressive graveyard here, guys. Boom. Come on. Get that ship damage done. Yes. Come on, one more hit. Come on, poison. Oh, man. But this poison should finish it off right here, guys. There we go. Good game. Poison should finish it off before his graveyard does the work. There we go, guys. Beezlebub is dead. Mirror matchup right there. As you can see, like I said before, it's a pretty popular deck. We'll go ahead and do two more here. Um, but there we go. Let's go one more right here. I don't know who invented it, but it's been spreading like wildfire. I've been seeing it everywhere on ladder and challenges and the leaderboard. Oh, guys, we're facing against Supercell. Oh, yeah. These guys have hacks because they are the creators of the game. So I don't know if we can win this one, guys. Can we beat Supercell themselves? What happens if we do? Do we dethrone them? Do we become Supercell if we beat them? <laughs> do we do we become the king of Cla Oh no. Oh no, I don't have a counter. Actually, meh. We're going to play defense, guys. We're going to play defense. I could counter push and Graveyard Knight the opposite lane. But I want to kind of play defense here. And see where that leads us. Alright, so we'll go Skeletons to get that damage. The Skeletons actually do high DPS. But of course, he does log it. But anyways, guys, look at this. The golem won't do too much damage because we got an Electro Wizard, a Knight, and Archers doing work on defense. And I'm wondering if... Nah, too aggressive. I was going to Graveyard Counter Push, but I think not in W Elixir. It's a pretty risky move that I wouldn't advise doing. And we also forced a Baby Dragon on defense, so not too bad on the Elixir department right there. Now, we have a good hand right here. We have a good pushing hand. We can do Knight, Graveyard, Poison if we want to. But it is fairly expensive push. You always want to have the poison with your graveyard. So we'll use Knight one tile further from the bridge 
to give us some more time. Then we'll do Graveyard here. And what does he drop? What does he drop? We'll poison this. The poison will finish off the Mega and do work to the Electro Wizard. So uh, it's a decent poison value, I think. And now we're getting some further skeleton damage done there with one more Fire Spirit spawn getting to the tower there. And let's just chill out here. We know he's rocking a Golem deck, which can be punishing in the W Elixir period. But we'll see how things go, guys. Things can change at any moment in these battles. That is how they work. So get another Furnace going up there. I don't like that he has a pump down. But if we could end this before overtime, he shouldn't be able to punish us for that pump. So let's see here. Let's go Knight. Uh, I want to do Graveyard, kind of. Here, let's do Graveyard, guys. Let's YOLO it. Um, it might be able to finish his tower off. We'll see. The reason I went aggressive Graveyard right there is because I didn't see a Skarmie or a Minion Horde so far. So I kind of guessed that he might not have a strong Graveyard counter. Sometimes you don't want to do that, guys. Sometimes guessing like that can really cost you a battle. But regardless, we have a one crown lead here so far. And um, there's only 37 seconds left. So things looking pretty good, guys. Things looking pretty good here. So now I have a question for you guys. I have a question for you. For those of you that like to do classic challenges and grand challenges, what is your favorite deck to use? Let me know because I'm looking for new challenge decks and I might try some out. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite challenge deck to use. Right now I'm loving this deck right here. And uh, even though it's got three legendaries in there, I gave you guys some alternatives for the legendaries earlier on. And the cool thing with doing challenges is you only need one legendary to make it work in a challenge. You don't need multiple. Uh, for example, my Electro Wizard does die to Fireball on ladder, so it's a bit it's a bit weaker on ladder. But in challenges, you only need one to make it work. So let's go ahead, finish the video off with one more battle right here. Hopefully, we don't lose. But I was doing a grand challenge earlier today with this deck. I lost two battles within the first three, so I was like three and two. And then I went ahead and won like a bunch straight to get to eleven, and then I lost my final one. But uh, oh, and I guess <laughs> the Lava Hound. No matter what deck I use, literally, no matter what deck I use, I always lose to Lava Hound. I don't know if it's just, I don't know if I'm just a scrub or not, but I always lose to Lava Hound. Guys, if you if you have some tips for beating Lava Hound, please share them in the comment section down below. But I don't know what it is. I just can't beat it. I just can't beat it. No matter what I use. Okay, I kind of want to get my poison down here ASAP for the Lava Pops and the Mega. And the, uh, please kill the balloon, please kill the balloon, kill, kill, kill the balloon. Somebody please kill the balloon. Yes, you wizard. Yes, there we go. But still, we took half. Even though the balloon didn't get a head off, I don't think it did. Maybe it did, I don't know. I was kind of focusing on the e-wizard there. But, um, even with the balloon not getting to the tower, we still lost half the health there. I don't know, dude. I just suck. I literally suck versus Lava Hound. We're gonna put on counter pressure here. Maybe that'll work. But I'm just at such a loss when it comes to beating Lava Hound decks. I don't know what it is. Let me know if you guys are the same way. Like, Lava Hound is just my arch nemesis. That's the one deck I consistently cannot beat. Every other deck can be hit or miss, like I do well against. But the Lava Hound is just the one deck that as soon as I see Lava Loon, I'm just like, whoop. This is a loss. And when I'm doing grand challenges, it's like... Whether or not I get to 12 wins is a matter as to whether or not I actually face a Lava Hound in the battle or not. Now, I want to go ahead and do a pretty forward furnace per, uh, placement there. Maybe that'll pull over the balloon, I don't know. But the Furnace is kind of a weird defense because it's kind of like you want it going in the opposite lane, but you also want it to pull over the uh, Lava Hound of the Balloon. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, lock the Goblin Gang, please. Sing at the night some health. Yes. All right, so we're doing some good work there on the left-hand side. We took his tower out, and the question is, can we defend the Lava Hound here on the right? On the right, guys, can we defend it? Uh, we're going to lose that tower, I think, just from the Lava Hound. Let's go boom. And, uh, boom, there we go, guys, that, we're still gonna lose that, we're still gonna lose that tower, but, you know what, the, uh, the balloon is dead, we defended, we defended one, we defended one Lava Loon push right there, that is a success, in my opinion, right there, guys, regardless of whether or not we win this battle, the fact that I just took out one of his towers, we actually stopped one Lava Hunt push, in my opinion, is a win. Just be stupid here, keep the pressure up. Kill the minions, please. Thank you. Where's your Goblin Gang, sir? All right, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. There we go, Goblin Gang. Log. I want to just keep the pressure up to prevent him from setting up anything, guys. That's my plan right now, is to prevent him from building any push at all. 
So we're gonna wait for the Mega Minion to die. And then I wanna do a uh, Knight Graveyard right here, please. Electric Wizard for Mega. I don't know, guys. That was a risky, uh, risky push. Shouldn't have went too aggressive right there, but we did, and we we are suffering the consequences right now. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know, man. I'm doing fairly well, considering, like, I thought we'd be dead by now. For sure. Let's see if we can't do a Furnace Pull. E-Wizard. Boom! Yes! Zap those. Thank you. Thank you, E-Wizard. E-Wizard's so strong against Lava Loon, I feel like. I feel like it's a, a good choice for Lava Loon. Wait for the minions to get out of there. Then we can do Graveyard. Knight. Maybe Poison as well. Poison, do the work, please. Poison, kill the Goblin Gang. Yes. Man, well, he's got three towers there, technically. The cannon and the king tower and the other tower, so... Uh, let's go Furnace Pole. E-Wizard Stun. And Archer's back here. Don't know if it's gonna work or not, guys. I had no idea. No, target the Lava Helm, please! Man! Nothing ever targets... The oh, we're dead here. This is it, guys. This is it. Nothing ever targets the Lava Helm... Or the Balloon. It always gets in there. The Balloon always gets a free ride into the tower. Boom. Ah, uh, we're not dead yet, though. We're not okay. So he just lightning just the tower by itself. Can we punish him for that? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Ah, uh, I'm such a scrub against Lava Hound. I don't know what it is. Boom, 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 and boom. Come on, kill. Don't let don't let me, bro. Don't let me, please. Don't let me. Yes, we did it, guys. We beat the Lava Hound. Yapu is dead. I feel weird saying Yapu because I say poo, but man, he's dead, guys. Wow, we just beat Lava Hound, my arch nemesis. Boom, there you go, guys. I am so surprised. Anyways, there's the deck one more time. If you want to go ahead and copy it, let me know your favorite Grand Challenge deck in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.